Tired of waiting in a long lineup for your morning coffee? Well, things might be about to change. Starbucks has introduced a digital way to skip those long lineups. A mobile app allowing customers in Canada to order your drink in advance. And then you simply go in and pick it up. The coffee company just laid us in a long line of retailers who are looking to ease the purchasing process, make it a lot more convenient. Retail expert Doug Stevens is here in the studio with more on this. How do you think it's going to change things? The Starbucks example. Let's start there. I think it takes a lot of the, the friction that we associate with a lot of ordering. You know, if you think about it, think about ordering coffee for the office. Mm -hmm. You know, when you think about the long list of things that you have to go to a Starbucks, you have to talk to the cashier, tell them what you want, line up, which can sometimes be 15, 20 minutes, yep. you know, on a, totally. on a bu very busy day in a busy store. I actually used this app this morning. Mm -hmm. I actually opened it up. It geolocates you, so first of all, it knows where you are, so it locates the nearest store that offers the service. Then it presents you with the full menu, which is another great thing if you're Starbucks, because now you get to present the full menu of what you sell to a customer, maybe expanding that sale. You can plug in your order, and it actually gives you your approximate time to reach that destination and the amount of time it'll take them to prepare your order. It's really, really slick. So you can make sure the coffee is still hot by the time you show up. Exactly, yeah. Right. So you're not having your coffee sitting on the counter uh -huh. for 20 minutes while you're driving to get there. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about this during the commercial, these green pea parking. They're also doing this. I've tried this in Toronto. I've tried it in Vancouver. Works very well. Yeah. You can top up your parking spot. You never have to get another ticket, in theory, anyway, using this. In theory, exactly. And when you think about it from Greenpeace standpoint, too, how many times Times do we say, you know, uh, I'd love to stay longer, but I'm pretty sure my meter's about to run out, mm. so I better I better go now. And you break off that that lunch uh, appointment or whatever to get back to the meter. Now you can just extend it from wherever you are, as you say, you know. So from a Greenpeace standpoint, that's extra revenue. That's somebody who's going to be, you know, feeding that meter longer because they don't have that stress of getting that ticket. Yeah, they're making it a whole lot more convenient. I was saying to you, I was going to see a movie, and just by adding it in, I was able to, you know, not have to worry about coming out from the movie and having yeah. a $45 ticket. What about Loblaws? Because groceries are a big thing, too. How does how does this work in practice? Well, Loblaws is getting into what they call click and collect, and this is actually huge in Europe. About 7 out of 10 consumers now, Probably grocery consumers, coming. are using what they call click and collect, meaning you can order before you go, and you can just pick your groceries up at the curb. So it adds a massive amount of convenience because, you know, Loblaws, like everyone in the market, realizes that sometimes the last thing you want to do when you're traveling home at 7 o'clock at night is stop at the grocery store. So if you can make that order from your desk at work and then just pick it up curbside, it's great. But I think the, over, the overarching theme here is that companies are awakening, awakening to the idea that the differentiator is not necessarily what they sell. Mm. It's not the coffee that Starbucks sells. It's how they sell it. It's the additional convenience that they can add through things like technology. And we're really seeing that come to the market now. Great to get you on, Doug. Thanks for this. Thank you.